My name is Angharad Williams and I'm an artist and writer from Uniscubby. This is a video clip of documentation from my exhibition Picture the Others on view at Oriel Mostyn in Llandidno, open to the public from the 19th of February until the 12th of June 2022. The exhibition space itself is comprised of a series of four ground-level galleries totalling almost 300 square metres of space. In the lead-up to the exhibition, I studied the floor plan and collected very detailed information about the space. I knew straight away that the title of the exhibition would be Picture the Others. As a writer, words and combinations of words or sentences come to me with a great deal amount of force. The title is a work in and of itself. It carries as much weight as any other element in the exhibition. The combination of these words are a command which leads to an invocation. When people enter the exhibition, having read its title on the wall, there is already a presence in absence. Who is not there? Who are the others? And in your mind's eye, how do the others appear to you? When you picture the others, with what kind of gaze do you hold them? The title places us aggressively in the present as we picture the others in some elsewhere. In Oriel 2, there are three dolls made from straw. These objects are formerly known as corn dollies. The word dolly is a corruption of the word idol. There is a long and rich history full of symbolism surrounding these objects which are made by weavers the world over. Grain from the first sheaf of the harvest would be made into a loaf of bread, while the last sheaf was reserved for small sculpture or corn dollies, which were symbolic of Mother Nature or the goddess of the harvest. I commissioned the artist Ria Davenport to make these according to the visual maxim, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Each doll places hands over ears, eyes and mouth, and each is individually spotlit. This is titled The Security Dilemma. Oriel 3 is host to a large scale, functioning target retrieval system made of source telegraph poles, welded steel, bike parts, and a washing line. This work is one of two in the exhibition titled The Prism of Your Life. Underneath the system is a red chair. This is one of two pieces of furniture in the exhibition. This chair, is one of 4,000 made and sold as merchandise to mark the 1969 investiture of Charles Windsor, which took place in Castell Carnarvon. Corruption is a natural outcome of the desire to maintain hierarchy, and people who find themselves born into positions of authority and extreme privilege assume their place in the world as natural and right. But there is nothing natural about the monarchy. Opposite this chair is a painting in acrylic painted with an airbrush. It measures 330 centimeters by 240 centimeters. In this painting, we see the rendered heat signature of a very small mouse surrounded by a snake who has no signature due to it being cold-blooded. Here, predator and prey are portrayed within the canvas. Despite this being a painting of a digital image created with human technology, particular snakes do actually form thermal profiles of their prey. They see, as it were, infrared by detecting heat, not photons of light. This is the first in a series of four paintings in the exhibition that share the title, The Dents. All surplus light units are taken out of Oriel 3, 4 and 5. In Oriel 4 and 5, we encounter the second target system, this time, it has a metal frame at one end where, according to the correct usage of these systems, one would adhere printed targets for individuals to practice their marksmanship. The telegraph poles emit an incredible smell due to their having been exposed to the elements in the landscape for some time, and they are reinforced to the floor and wall. The prism of your life prompts us to consider how our perspectives are formed by our experiences in life making them prone to limitation and perspective can be easily influenced. The prism of your life dictates how you picture the others. Next to this static system are three glass sculptures that resemble fireplaces. These, titled Scarecrows and Numbered, are a continuation of a series I've been making since 2017 or so. These scarecrows in varying scales are made with 4mm custom-cut pieces of glass. Anthracite was given to me as a talisman when I was a child. I like the idea of something subterranean bringing you good luck. 
On the opposite end of Oriel 4 are the further paintings from the series. Going from left to right, they are titled The Dents, Light, Land, Man, Boundaries, Law, The Dents, There is No Such Thing as Trespassing, and finally, The Dents. They are, of course, paintings of heat, and they are paintings of what we call rodents. Finally, in Oriel 5, is a HD film titled Joe Public shown on a monitor which is hung on the wall in front of a leather sofa which we bought at the British Heart Foundation next door to the gallery. The film is 15 minutes in length and is shot in black and white. The audio we hear in Joe Public is a track by musician Carl Stone called Sukotai. The film was shot and edited by the artist Richard Sides. I am the subject of this droll film and I'm filmed doing menial tasks such as watching the films at Brisky Point, scouring Mona Kaboot Sale, showering, sleeping, travelling, shopping, and walking through a predominantly extremely rural and coastal landscape. The film culminates in an extended sequence of me preparing to and firing a shotgun for the first time in my life. There is a text accompanying the exhibition. This is written by Gian Maria Andretta. The exhibition is curated by Juliette Desargues. All works in this exhibition were made in 2022.